Hello. So I have this face with a couple of shape keys to control the blinking of the eyes. Um, they could be just one shape key, but I have them like this. Uh, it's not relevant for what I'm showing now. Uh, but the thing is, I want to animate this procedurally with Geometry Nodes, but currently Geometry Nodes doesn't have access to shape keys. So I'll use this add-on I've been working on and convert the shape keys to attributes with this operator over here. So now the shape keys have been disabled and instead I got this geometry nodes modifier that lets me control the shape keys with these parameters. Okay, so since the face has this the eyes as separate object, I'm going to instantiate this collection here. And I want to bring this node tree, but I actually I, I need these parameters to be exposed inside the node tree. So I'll use this move to nodes operator that wraps the group inside. And I'll cut this because I actually want to use this in the new node tree that I'm creating here um, in this plane where I'm instantiating the face like this. So, in order for this to work, I'm going to have to realize the instances. And now, I can control the blinking with these parameters. Okay, for this video, I'm going to create a bunch of these faces along a line. So to control the animation, I'm going to use an empty. I could just use the, a value, but I prefer to use an object in the scene and to use its position to drive the, the animation because it's more visual that way. So I'm going to compare the X location of the empty with the X location of the faces, actually at first with the X location of the vertices of the faces. Uh, let me show you what I mean with this. So subtract, then I'm going to use a map range to sort of set the range of the fall off of the effect. And let's plug this into both factors. So now you see the empty controls the blinking. But what I want is for the eyes to start open and open a bit more then close and then go back to the original uh, relaxed open position so i'm going to use a float curve so at zero i want them to be opened not the max just relaxed open and the same at the end and in the middle I want it, as I said, to open up a bit more, then close for a bit, and then go back to open. Like that. And as you can see, since the position is being compared per, vertis, per vertex, uh, the eyes uh, aren't synchronized in their blinking. I like this effect for this case, but let's see how we can do it if we want them to be synchronized per face. So in that case, um, I want to compare the position of the empty to the position of each face globally. So let's um, capture the position of the instances with an attribute capture node. Here in vector mode instance domain so let's bring a position node and use this instead of the regular position so now both eyes are synchronized for each 
um, phase. And that's uh, the basics of what I wanted to show, but there's a bit of a problem here if we want to rotate these phases because the, uh, these shape keys are working in world space so they are not playing well with rotations so we're going to have to rotate them after applying the shape attributes or shape keys and for that I'm going to use a set position node and feed it the position but I want to rotate it with a vector rotate node and I'll use the Euler mode but here you can see um, they are being rotated with respect to the origin of the object but instead I want each face to rotate around its origin so I'll use this position attribute that we've captured per instance and connect that to the center here so now we can rotate each face around its own center while keeping the shape key or the shape attribute working uh, fine so that's what I wanted to show I hope you find this useful I'm going to be sharing this add-on very soon uh, so if you have any questions or comments please let me know